Tobacco usage has existed for more than three centuries, and was once a staple crop in colonial America. It exists in many forms, ranging from hefty cigars, to slender cigarettes. However, with the new advents of radio, television, and film, the tobacco industry has permeated American culture, their products often in the hands of Hollywood actors or musicians. However, this was not by accident. For the past 100 years, the tobacco industry has catered to a specific target audience, one whose minds are easily influenced and often irrational, young people. According to the TK, over 1.8 million high school students are regular smokers. While tobacco usage among our youth has been dwindling over the past few years, the tobacco industry has not given up its effort to indoctrinate young minds into the addictive cycle that is recreational tobacco. The notion that tobacco smoking single quote only negative effects manifest in lung cancer are untrue. In fact, there are more than 20 diseases that can be traced back to regular smoking, including chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart disease, strokes, asthma, decreased fertility, underweight babies, and diabetes. Despite this, 31.4% of students reported currently using tobacco, 90% of whom began smoking before or at the age of 18. Tobacco industries do not hope that youth try and enjoy their products enough to use regularly, they know they will, thanks to the product's addictive chemical properties. Companies such as Camel, L&M, Newport, and Marlboro all deceived the new generation with their doctor-recommended cigarettes 60 years ago. 60 years later, those brands remain popular with youth, with 83.4% of youth ages 12 to 17 saying they prefer these heavily advertised products. Even more astounding, upwards of 1,200 people in this country die due to regular smoking each day. For each of those deaths, at least two youth or young adults will replace them. If we do not put an end to the tobacco industry, we will forever be stuck in a cycle of death and addiction.